Welcome back, Canada, to the Care for Data Science channel. As I always say to all my family, this channel is about you. It's about giving you the access to the data you need to understand the world, your, the world around you. Even more importantly is, at the, at the, at the time we live in now, a lot of our concerns with COVID-19. So I'm going to run two reports for you today. I'm going to run a, a daily report, which is going to show you the daily, weekly, and monthly uh, COVID-19 cases and deaths in Canada since, since the very first one back last year. I'm also going to run a second report, which is a weekly report, which, which we look at the COVID-19 vaccine data for Canada. We're going to look at the, uh, in that second report, we're going to look at uh, the total doses administered, the total number of people who received at least one shot, and the number of people who received both shots. And we also look at it as a percentage of the total population because one source I read said 50% vaccination rate before we really begin to see a decline a decline in COVID-19 cases and deaths, okay? So that's good. I want you to share. Well, that's all you say also. If you find this report useful today, be sure to like it and click that share button. And share these two reports with one other person you know today that's interested in the COVID-19 situation in Canada. Okay? So that's run the first report, which is a daily report. So you can see currently Canada has 848,330 cases, 26,631 deaths. Your mortality rate is falling back down towards below 2%, which is very good. Uh, deaths, you can see that for some reason you have these spikes. These look like correction numbers, that look, like the things have been corrected to me maybe. I'm not really sure. The most important thing is you can see this continuing decline in cases. Okay. That's, that's the really good news. As we come back here and we zoom in a little bit, you can see seven, the, the seven-day the, the seven average for cases for, is uh, 9,237 cases, which, again, that's the average for the, for the seven days from prior to, to January 8th, you were averaging 9,237 cases per day. As of, the, as of 2017, I'm sorry, as of February 17th, you only average in 2,561 cases per day, okay? So you come down there, take a look at, well, your deaths have never been very high, okay? I mean, you, you haven't even reached 250 deaths a day. And again, you could, you could still see the decline in case your, your deaths are also declining, okay? If you look here on, on weekly cases, one, two, three, four, five, cases have declined for six straight weeks in Canada. Yes? Well, this was the last spike, and it wasn't really a spike, but you can see one, two, three, four, five, six weeks in a row, the deaths have finished below this little spike right here. And you haven't even cut, and you finished below the big spike back in April also, okay? One, two, three straight weeks, four straight weeks of decline. Okay, this is monthly cases. Uh, you can see uh, December and January are pretty rough months for cases. Uh, there's always the possibility that these numbers are exaggerated by adjustments made to the numbers, corrections made to the numbers. Deaths, you can see, you know, January was the worst death so far. But if we come back up here, You can see you had this huge spike up here in cases. And you had some you had some spikes back up here in January. So this so these so these monthly cases in January is, is exaggerated a little bit by by apparently what were was corrections maybe to the numbers. But you, know, you can see that that the weekly numbers are still staying really low for deaths and cases. Alrighty. So that takes care of the daily report. 
for Canada, COVID-19 poor for Canada. Let's take a look at how your vaccine program is doing. Okay. So we come back up here, you can see that, that so far, Canada has, has administered 14.02 million doses, total doses of uh, COVID-19 vaccine. You can see that uh, you have had a total number of cases, a total number of people receiving at least one dose at 972,000 and change, okay? Of, the pe of these people, only 307,000 and change have received the full two doses. Let's take a look at the percentage of people receiving at least one shot. Okay, so 2.4%, 2.5% of the population of Canada has received at least one dose. 8 tenths of a percent of the population of Canada has received both doses. Okay? You know, that's a start, but, uh, you know, you, you have a lot of work to do because one source I, I read said 50%, you know, total vaccination rate in order to see cases of deaths beginning to climb. But your numbers are so far, your numbers are so low already, it's going to be really kind of hard to see, to see a lot of difference made. Okay. But anyway, thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you'll, and, and well, and as I always say, thanks for stopping by your Caribou Data Science channel where the data science is all about giving you the information you need to, to understand the world around us. Also, be sure to, if you find your support helpful and useful, be sure to click the like button and click that share button and share this report with one person today, all righty? To share it with one person, one of your friends today, okay? Thanks so much for your time today, Canada, and we'll catch you tomorrow with another daily report.